Renee Gracie says she hears about one new fetish a week from her army of subscribers on OnlyFans. I don't have any fetish myself, to be honest with you, I'm Barry Vanilla, the pro race car driver turned porn star tells Page Six, adding that she's never been with anyone who had fetishes. There are, of course, the basic ones, like latex or feet, she tells us, while other fetishes are really unique, including a shrink fetish. So, uh, does that mean fans ask Gracie to dress up as their therapist? People imagine that you shrink them down, and you put them in your body or your mouth, she explains. I was like, OMG, you're going to have to elaborate. I haven't heard of that. While she says everyone's got something, there's some overly extreme ones which she declines. Hardcore requests that to me I wouldn't feel comfortable doing. Rough stuff like, being, slapped, biting. Sorry I can't do that, says the Australian stunner. Not that I have any judgment against it. Gracie tells us she makes six figures per month bearing it all on OnlyFans, in part by providing nude pics and sex videos tailored to fans' customized kinks. Two years down the track, now I show everything, she admits. Before she was an OnlyFans millionaire, Gracie was a racing prodigy on the V8 supercars circuit down under. She says that while she's usually referred to as a porn star in press reports, she doesn't mind the moniker, but, I personally don't consider myself a porn star. It's blanket statement for someone who doesn't understand the industry. Recalling her time as a racer, she says the environment for a woman driver was very toxic. She says she made under $80,000 for five years of my life and she had to scrounge for sponsors on the circuit herself, and pay exorbitant costs just to be a part of the sport for insurance and other necessities. In a rut after leaving racing, a pal suggested she create an OnlyFans account. I didn't know if I'd have the confidence to do this, she told us. But, I looked at it and thought, I'm semi-already doing that on my Instagram. It was an instant hit, and soon the cash flow was overwhelming. In the first 24 hours, I made $24,000, recalls Gracie, who hoped at the time, I can pay a couple months rent. She added, from that first two weeks. We were, starting to say, okay, we need to figure out what we're gonna do, Gracie remembers. It was $70,000, $80,000 the next month. It was such a whirlwind for me, from, having no money, and being broke to having heaps of money. Gracie says her dad, who has owned and run businesses, began advising her. I focused on just continuing what I was doing, she explains. I sort of pushed all the money to the side, and was like, here dad, look after this. She says that from the start, her newfound career took so much time. The amount of messages I had to send. I had 9,000 fans, she tells us. The money was so extreme so quickly, I didn't have time to focus on it. I wasn't going out and buying handbags. A 
Other than doing the content, the money side of things has been the biggest thing I've had to wrap my head around, she continues. The repercussions, how your life changes, tax, trusts, accountants, all the stuff that comes with earning money, I'd earn the bare minimum. Gracie says she would like to get back into racing, but in a new way, rather than just being a driver. She says she's getting interest from the sport in ways she never had before. I grew myself to be someone who has a presence online. It wasn't just online, but as a businesswoman, she says, adding that there are now ideas floating around. Can you come back to racing? People were wanting me to come back. Gracie's now realized, she tells us, that she can come back to racing without having to rely on anyone. She also says she could return more as a presence for giving other young females or race car drivers in general a stepping stone that she never had. Even being a mentor, for racing and the hurdles you have to go through, she explains. I've naturally had a lot of people reach out, but the racing side of things is a very cautious thing for me. When I did leave it was very toxic. I have to enjoy it. As for her self-made career, she says, I'm so grateful for being in another industry, where, not all things have to be toxic.